I'm Dr. Susan Benedict and we're here today to do an adjustment on a little puppy. His name is Quince. This is Elizabeth, his owner. I'll let her introduce him. So this is Quincy. He's 13 weeks old and he's the fifth out of six in his litter. And coming out of the birth canal, his back legs were caught and so he was dragging them the first few months of his life and uh, he's doing much better now with the help of some physical therapy and Dr. B's adjustments and so today he's going to get another adjustment. And as you can see, he's a very <laughs> happy puppy. Uh -huh. Alright. I don't know if you can stay still. I don't know. So the first thing we do is check the cranials and um, let me just put a little contrast so you can see Quincy against the white. We first, it's easier if they're not quite as active as this. Let's see if I can get them to calm down a little bit. Here, boo boo. There you go. Okay, that's gonna work. So I carefully uh, check these bones, his head bones, his cranial bones. You, oh, you're gonna carry that off, buddy. <laughs> Last time I adjusted him, he did have uh, a little bit off on his cranial bones, and since he got stuck in the birth canal, um, yeah, he's got it again. Usually on a calmer animal, it's pretty easy to do the check, because what I do is I just run my hand down each vertebra, and you actually see right there, that was one. I don't know if you caught that. Let's see if we can do it again. Here, boo -boo. Let's see. Here you go. Sure. He just jumped again. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah. Just jumped again. So there's something right here. It's very, very gentle. Now I'm going to check his hips. And I'm just going to do some uh, muscle testing to see if they're out of whack. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting a challenge into his nervous system. So this hip, this side has gone up and that side has gone down. Let's double check this. So I put in a challenge, I double check it, and then we start adjusting. So I'm going to adjust his cranials right here, which were out the last time I adjusted him too. Then we're going down to that little spot where he jumped. A moving target. <laughs> this is called a thumb toggle, what I'm doing, and that's all part of the directional non force technique. So now I'm going to do the hip joints. And he wasn't technically the runt of his litter, but was he fifth out of six? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's almost, he's probably one of the smaller birth weights coming in. Food works every time. Mm -hmm. huh? oh. <laughs> Quincy, come here. Come here. Okay, I think okay. we're done. So let's, let's see which way it went. It rotated to one side. So this sacrum went this way and down. So we're going to make sure we get on the right spot. Okay. Now I know this, this looks like it's too gentle to move bones, but it's three pounds of pressure and it and it's plenty to move a bone. So let's see if that's all neutral. All right, little guy, we're all done. So now he can leap higher and bite harder. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Quincy.